We're back. <laughs> we haven't even started yet. <laughs> Is this nerves? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You nervous? Yeah. He's awkward in general though. Yeah, I am. <laughs> no, he's just, he doesn't mean to be awkward, but he's just awkward. Secure the car. Do you want to check if the car's alright? No, no, the car's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, the car's okay. Are you alright, bro? No, I'm not. Just switch off the engine. You know that it's... Alright, have a breather. Yeah, have a, take, a, take a deep breath in. That was not good. Oh, that was not good. That was not good. Okay, I'm sat here editing a video, right? And I can't help but notice how much support we've been getting on the channel lately. And you guys know how it works around there. The more support you guys give, the more uploads you get. And guess what? We're back with another video. And this video is going to be a big video because we're testing out my brother's skills with a mock test with Aman from Clearview Driving. Make sure you go check her out because she's going to be uploading a video in, um, you know, in depth. So she's going to go through all the mistakes my brother's made through this mock test. So go check that out because that's going to be interesting. But yeah. Like I said, I like to do um, mock tests here and then because uh, I want to see where we're at in terms of my brother's driving capabilities and uh, yeah, that's exactly what we've done and um, whilst editing it, yeah, I honestly thought my brother was going to cry. Anyways, if you guys are new around here, make sure you subscribe and if you do enjoy the video, drop it a like and uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the mock test and uh, yeah, I'm going to put you guys right into the video. Today, we have... Juvenile, back for another mock test. Hello. This is number three from our mock test, right? Is this our third lesson together? Third. Our third, like, driving session. One that second. Is, yeah, One it is, second. It is, it is. Third. It's your third mock test, right? I don't know. I think so. Yes, it is. it's third. a third mock test. If you haven't seen the other videos, I'll link it up here. And we are joined by, joined yes. by, joined with Jeremy. His driving instructor. The driving instructor. Yeah. The one and only <laughs> self proclaimed driving instructor. Self <laughs> we have to put that in. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, I was going to say, by the way, the last mock test he's done, yeah, you've had to stop it. The blah, blah, Yeah. Blah. So hopefully today we're able to get through the whole thing, yes? That's uh. the main aim. Okay. Um, I'm ready to get started. Do you want me to tell you how today will go or are you happy to just get started? Um. I think I need some guidance. Okay. <laughs> you know what's going So this will be a mock test where I'm just going to be giving you instructions throughout. So I'm going okay. to tell you when to turn. I'm observing everything that you're doing. Right. If I'm not saying anything, you're simply just going straight. Okay. Okay. The right. criteria for you is just to demonstrate that you can do everything safely. That's okay. it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So before we get started with today's test, I am going to ask you a question mm. about your vehicle. Okay. All right, can you tell me how would you check that the brake lights are working before starting your journey? Um, just think about it. How would you check the brake lights on your car? Just press the brake. Okay, and then? And then, uh, use common sense, man. Just pressing the brake. And then, how would you, as the driver, see the brake lights? I don't know. Say the dumbest thing that you're thinking of right now. I, I, I was literally going to say go outside and check. Okay, well, if you're pressing the brake, how are you going <laughs> to yeah. go outside and check? But i get someone else to. Thank you. Oh, right. So, the, you know what? Oh, the funny right. thing is, with this question, everyone always thinks the answer is going to be really complicated. But the simplest answer, that's the one to go with. Oh, okay. Yeah, just ask someone. All or right. use reflections. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Okay. All right, All um, right. Driven, I want to get started. All right. Good luck. Uh, yep, <laughs> can I need it? <laughs> but you can drive, man. Just, just do what you usually do. Do what you're good at. That's driving. Uh, this ain't one of the things I'm good at. <laughs> cool. Okay, so when you're ready, let's start the engine. And what I tell you, remember yesterday about your neck, about what you gotta do. You gotta oh yeah, I gotta check. Gotta make it obvious that I'm looking at the mirrors. Okay, so whenever you're ready. We're going to move off, and at the end of this road, turn right, please. Right, yeah. Okay. Wait, what? It's not the one. Where's the indicator, then? Above it. Oh, right. Bro, I'm actually so stupid. Just remember the electronic handbrake, eh? Handbrake? Yeah. 
The handbrake. Well, you know where the handbrake is in the new cars. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Man, I forgot about this, can not I? doing something wrong with it. Bro, what am I doing? Oh man, I've got to wait for this stupid van to come in. Don't rage. Mate, I don't know, I don't know what, oh mate, I'm, I'm too scared. of this road so I'm right please. He was being a bit bushy wasn't he? Yeah. up as well. <laughs> Good, how silly of them. Okay, at the roundabout, I'd like you to turn left, please. the cars in comfort mode. Alright. Oh, Walked started, yeah? Yes. <laughs> what did you think we're doing, <laughs> Juvenal?
what? I'm just enjoying the drive. Really. <laughs> you actually haven't messed up in the first part in like a few minutes. Don't say that. straight ahead it's the second exit towards Kingston okay a lot do with that now. Yeah, it's a really awkward space for them to be doing that though. Now, when it's safe to do so, I'd like you to demonstrate how you would open a window. A window? Yeah. It's not safe at all. Uh, uh, right, open a window. Well, the only way I could do it is like that. Okay, <laughs> so what is safe? Open a window. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm fine, you can close it. I did not like that. You're telling me you're scared to open the window. Yeah, because, I mean, it was really safe, but still, man, <laughs> nah, I can't, I can't. I can't. Oh, God. Alright, at the next roundabout, I'd like you to turn right, it's the third exit. To the right lane, keep to the right lane. Yeah. Okay. And then we're leaving at this one, yeah? Shit. And then we're turning left at this roundabout. Next road on your right, please.
if you could pull in and park up on the left hand side, just on the road, not on the pavement. Don't worry about the driveways on this occasion. Keep it wider. Drive up when you're ready. Try not to dwell on the mistake, okay? Just focus on what we've got right here. So at the end of this road, we're gonna turn right. We have to go from the left here, go from the left. No, 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 just, just put it in first gear and just turn it all the way left. Turn the whole thing, just keep the clutch low. Okay, at the roundabout, we're gonna turn right. Okay, do you have an Should we stop over? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, when we go further down this road, if you can park up just on the left hand side, a bit further past the bus stop, okay? Okay. Yeah. Alright, if you can pull in and park up on the left just after that post there, just kind of signal on. Come out of the way. We're not parking on the pavement, okay? Just kind of brake, clutch, not too close, move away slightly. That's great there. Just stop. Secure the car. Do you want to check if the car's alright? No, no, oh. the car's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, the car's okay. Are you alright, bro? No, I'm not. Just switch off the engine. You know that it's... 
All right, have a breather. You have a take a take a deep breath in. That was not good. Oh, that was not good. That was not good. Oh. What the? Both. That big roundabout that now. That really threw you off. That, oh. but, but let's be honest. That's your own fault. Yeah. Why would you stop in the middle of the road at the roundabout? You know where to stop every time at the roundabout. Yeah. That, uh, this roundabout here at the back, you were simply trying to go around it, right? Yeah. But there wasn't enough space. So what should we do on that occasion? Mm. Turn earlier. Yeah. Go over the roundabout a little bit. You have to, because you, otherwise you're going to hit the curb. With the front left higher, honestly, you've just scuffed the alloy at, like it's, a little bit. It's okay. not the end of the world, honestly. It mm. happens all the time. It's a Lerla car. Yeah? I'm not worried about that one bit, so don't worry. And in terms of what happened earlier, yeah, yeah that, that wasn't very nice. You, you kind of, everything happened together. Yeah. You just got there a bit too quick, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah? You've done so much better than your last mock test. I think the, so too. The drive was so good. That's just the only bit where you had your serious fault come in. You know that, right? Which one? The back, the, the big roundabout? Big, big roundabout, yeah. So right, up until now, we've got three faults come in major. Okay? One, let, let's talk about it. Okay, okay, okay. One okay. is that big roundabout, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. You just got there way too fast, yeah. you're in the roundabout, yeah. and you're still in fourth gear. Yeah. That's why everything just, you, it just happened. Yeah. After that, you know that bit where you were about to go on the wrong side of the road? Where I said, no, no, turn in this bit, and you said, I need to reverse. Oh, okay. Because obviously you were about to now start yeah. driving on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. Just in front of you, there was a blue arrow saying, keep left. You're supposed to see that and go left from there. Yeah? And then the third one was this roundabout. Yeah. So if you think about it, that whole 10 minute drive that you did before, you drove all, is that called the crooked billet? Crooked uh, billet, yeah. You did really well on that one. The approach to stopping. When you've got a point that you have to stop by, you're fine. Even though the brake's a bit harsh sometimes, you're fine. But on that roundabout, you, you were a bit unsure whether you wanted to slow and stop, whether you wanted to go. You saw the roundabout was clear. Yeah. You just got there. And then before you know it, the car's arrived. You need to make sure when you're approaching a roundabout, you want to kind of give yourself more time. So it's a good idea to watch your speed and go, actually, is that number actually like low? Because when you got there, you were still like 30 something. Yeah, yeah. So next time when you're slowing down, brake more and look at your speed to make sure it's actually slow. Yeah. And give yourself like a buffer speed for, for roundabouts, like big roundabouts, I'd say less than 20. Yeah. And then that way you can kind of make a decision, look, and so on. Yeah, you okay? I think the roundabout was threw him off. I yeah. Ever since then he ain't been the same. No, he, he wasn't the same after that one yeah. roundabout. He he was he just tunnel vision. Yeah. He did. But yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. That one mistake's gone, but you, you, if you dwell on that, look how many more you've made. Yeah. He was driving nicely. You were driving time. really nicely. I was yeah. surprised because you said you've only, had, only done like 10 hours since the last time we drove together. Yeah. Okay? Just work on your junction approach, yeah. like how you get to these roundabouts. Say roundabouts is probably my major problem. You know right where now. to stop, uh, but just before you leave. That's there. if you need to stop those, yeah. So yeah. kind of get there at a reasonable speed to be able to make that decision yeah. to go or to stop. If you get there too fast, you're more likely to either go into it too fast or you're more likely to have a really harsh break to that stop. Yeah. And you don't want to do either of the two. Okay, you feeling better now? Yeah. Okay, so should we go back into mock test style or driving lesson? We'll just have a mock test. Okay, so we're going to continue with the mock test from here now, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, at the roundabout, we're going to turn left, first exit. Roundabout here, we're gonna go straight on. It's the second exit.
and at the roundabout turn left. If you could pull in and park up on the left anywhere along here, please. On the road, not on the pavement. Thank you. Drive off when you're ready. Turn the wheel. I've got the pedals, okay? Keep turning the wheel fully for me. Thank you. Keep it there. Now don't dwell on that mistake. Now we've got two roundabouts very close together. We're going to turn right at the first one and then left at the second one. So it's that road ahead, you can see. So it's a right then left, okay? Where well, the red car's going. Row turn left, please.
<laughs> you gotta watch the people that drive past you and look at you like look into the car whilst they're driving. Huh? <laughs> Every time you drive past someone, you, they look into the car so pissed off. <laughs> Change gear, man. That guy that drove past looks so pissed off. Did he? Yeah. Oh, I don't even Okay, at the roundabout, we're gonna turn left. Going towards the parking from here. At the roundabout turn right, please. Turn left in here, please. All right, Jovenel, what I want you to do now is if you can reverse into a space of your choice, make sure you finish within the white lines of the bay. Use any of these parking spaces here, just make sure you finish within the bay. You can go up a bit further, it's a bit quieter up there. Yeah, so wherever you are. Yeah, like. these, yeah. Yeah. I think these things here, those are not the right ones, I don't think. Oh, these ones? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're marked weirdly, I don't know. Okay, just make sure you reverse into the bay, that's all. You happy to leave it there? Thank you, secure the car. And switch off the engine. All right, how was that second half then? Um, oh, it wasn't as good, but I'd say it's a little bit better than It was definitely better than what half. happened before, yeah. definitely. Um, the roundabout was good when we went straight on. It was just a bit slow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then we had that next roundabout where we turned left, parked up on the left. That was all good. Then when we moved off on that road, we had a parked car in front of us. Oh yeah. And you're kind of umming and ahhing with what yeah. you wanted to do, but you're getting so close to the car in the meantime, yeah. to the point where I had to stop you. Yeah. What should you have done on that one? Probably should have just stopped like way further behind. Okay. And when you say way further, what's what's kind of the distance? Like the cars move, is it? I want you to stop two car lengths away next time. Okay. Just because you've got such an easy position to then go around with. Yeah. Car length, you still have to steer loads to get around it. How much space did you leave? Uh, not a lot. <laughs> uh, a little bit. Maybe enough, I guess. Nowhere near enough. No. Okay, the two roundabouts where we were turning right then left, you need to signal. Yeah, you're making a right turn. Um, the second one where you turned left, you did signal. Just be a bit more visual with your left mirror. I don't feel like you checked this one enough. That traffic light, which changed suddenly. Yeah. Did you need to stop? 
with how close you were and how I late it gone, changed. I, I could have gone, nah, yeah, I definitely could have gone. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. And also, when it started to flash amber, can we go or do we keep waiting for it to go green? Theory question. I'll just can go. Yeah. Mm, what good. traffic light was that if it has a flashing amber beacon question for you guys? Oh. Which pedestrian crossing has a flashing amber beacon? Mate, One some... second. Jeremy? It wouldn't be fair if I answer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it was one he of them doesn't weird know ones. It, yeah. no, I know it, I just, it's not fair. I don't even know what it's called. It's some weird it, name. It is a weird name. Is it like Pelican. Toucan? Yeah, he's got it. Pelican, okay. Pelican has a flashing amber beacon. Is it called that? Oh, okay. Okay. They're all birds. Pelican, puffin, toucan, yeah. pegasus is the only one that's not a bird, but you know. <laughs> well, it is actually, yeah. <laughs> okay. Beautiful creatures. Um, okay. That, and then... Uh, Bay Park here. You know how to use a reversing camera, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Did you look around? Yeah. Did you check your blind spots? No. So you'd fail simply for not having checked your blind spots at all when you decided to use the camera. You can use the camera, but don't stare at the camera. Okay. Yeah? yeah. I'm glad you went forward because obviously you were over the line initially. When you went forward, you readjusted, you're in the bay, but it's the observation that let you down. Okay. In terms of how your mock test went previously to now, well done. Massive improvement. Thank you. I mean, I'd say, Jeremy, you did well. Thank you very much. I've, I've been waiting for this day. I think, yeah. Me too. I think I <laughs> but you know what it is? You need to address the slowing down issue because there are some roundabouts where you just kind of get there. Because of what happened earlier, later on, you kept getting to roundabouts and just stopping, first gear, and then moving. Yeah. And there were times we could have just taken it in second, like this roundabout here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's my, my speed, like my control. Like you, you speed up really nicely. Yeah, and then I just stop. I, I, I don't know. The slowing down part, you're yeah, not that. as confident with. Yeah. And it shows especially with what happened earlier. Um, but don't go into tunnel vision, you know, like when something happens, don't dwell on it because that kind of led to what happened later on. Yeah. Because I could see it in your face. You were just really annoyed at yourself the whole time thereafter. Just wouldn't get over it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <sorry> for himself. <laughs> But yeah, it's okay. It, it is difficult to kind of go over that, like try and move past that at the same time. He's done okay. a lot worse. Yeah. It's an improvement from last time, which is what you've got to look at. But keep practicing. Ten hours in the last nine months, that's nowhere near enough. This ain't easy, man. It's actually difficult <laughs> driving. It actually is. Or for someone like me, yeah. Yeah, that's true. What do you mean someone like you? It is pretty difficult for me. <laughs> <laughs> Juvenile, I'm going to say this, and I've said this before. There's no way there's someone worse than me. What are you... I'm sorry, you've had zero professional lessons. <laughs> Ju Jeremy doesn't count, okay? I mean, you can't be true. hard on yourself because yeah. you've never had an instructor teach yeah. you. If you had someone who knows what they're doing, I'm not saying you don't know what you're doing, but in terms of teaching, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't know how to like kind of word these things or what, what to practice and stuff. That's why you're kind of making the mistakes you're making. Yeah. You're kind of making the mistakes and learning from them. Just to defend yeah. myself. Some of the <laughs> mistakes he's done is common sense. And yeah. I can't teach that into someone. <laughs> Who stops at the middle of the road in the middle of the roundabout? No, that you know what? That, that, don't blame that from on common <laughs> no, well, sense. What okay. happened there is no, he just fault. got there too fast. Yeah. He didn't know how to control the car. And before you know it, he was there. Oh, yeah. Okay, next one. You said not to park on the curb, drive on the curb, park on the side. He, what does he's, he do? <laughs> he drives on the curb. <laughs> His no, judgment forgot, with the I car forgot, was slightly off. He, he's I not forgot. used to the size of this car, so he went on slightly. All right. Driving the wrong side of the road. How close? He didn't see the road sign because he was he was still thinking about that roundabout mistake. See, how are you supposed to teach someone this? Ah, uh, yeah, we're so close yet so far. I mean, we're making some huge improvements. However, we still do need to, you know, improve on other areas. Um, but like I said, we're gonna work on it. We're definitely gonna try and get my brother his driving license this year. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna stop till then, okay? I'm definitely not gonna stop. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop it a like. And um, as always, I shall see you in the next video.